All right, I'm going to lay out this. Uh... Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, we're here at the Homestead property in Michigan, and we're getting rid of a bunch of junk that's been collecting over the last, whew, probably 40 years. And uh, we're trying to clear it out and get rid of a lot of stuff, and we'll show you around. Here, here's an old um, Ford truck that's been sitting here. It used to be like a gate for people who couldn't get in the back of the property where more junk is. So we'll walk this way and look at some more. Take a picture of this. All right, here's a here's an old dune buggy. It was fabricated in the early early seventies, late seven or sixties. I used to ride this thing when I was like twelve years old. And now it just sits here and rots to, rots to hell. We're selling this today. And uh, we already sold like four cars already. And uh, here's another Dodge Omni that's been sitting forever. You can see how the, the woods kind of takes it over and hides it away. That's what you call camouflage uh, there. Here we are. We, um, Pull this dune buggy out of the, the woods, and uh, we got a person coming to get it for $400. And um, we'll do a little walk around. It's a five lug, so it's about a 60 something. And uh, this is homemade. One of my brothers made it. And I used to ride this thing when I was 12 years old all the time. And it was no big deal. It was like a go kart to us. And uh, now it's going to say goodbye after 50 some years. Alrighty, that's it. Doing, uh, we've been working here getting rid of uh, old junky, rusty cars off the homestead. Um, there's 10 acres of land here, and we've been uh, clearing it out slowly. The right. last, and um, we got to walk down this way. They're pulling out another car. Want me to show it? And, uh, We've been slowly getting rid of about 10, 15 vehicles. We only got a few more left. And uh, so we're doing a good job and we're getting good money for them. Not good money, but money to get rid of them, you know. And this used to be all grown up. You couldn't even see the driveway when we first got here. We had to trim and, and cut a path back to the backyard. And, uh, and most of these cars don't have no titles and they're gonna be scrapped as scrap metal. So we got a, a scrapper in here that's gonna scrap them. And, uh, whew. 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 Got it. And look at all that. Look at that. Look at that primo, primo, primo. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it for right now. And uh, we're going to pull another one out in a few minutes. They're going to load another one up on there. All right, I hope you enjoy it. Up. I think it's caught on them little trees. Taping. Yeah, we're tempted to pull up this other horizon. Whoa! Who said you couldn't do a split?
Stuff we get a picture of me. Stuff we gotta do for a nickel. <laughs> property and uh, we have this 38 and um, we want to get rid of it sell it too but we cleared all the scrap iron out of this, sh this shop and everything and it's looking good some of the scrap that we had in the garage that we piled all up we have a scrapper coming um, we're gonna split it 60 40 he's gonna do most of the hauling off and loading it and all that and um, all this is gonna go it's all this stuff has been in the garage and in the sheds and so 
all this junk is going to be gone. And um, there's one more car that we got to get out. And uh, it's the one in the, in the woods over there. And um, that one we got to get out yet. And there's another Jeep in the back that we got to get rid of. And then we got some Jeep frames in the back that we got to pull out. And um, then pretty much good to go. All right, and we got uh, an old dump truck here that uh, we're going to get out of here and scrap this out too. And um, this guy's going to come on and clean all this stuff up. And um, he only lives like six miles away. And uh, he's all excited. He's a, a younger guy and his wife, and he has two small children. So he seems like a good guy. He's going to put a gate up. And uh, to keep no trespassers coming in, and that, that sounds good with us. Here's an old um, a '73 Blazer body that's been sitting here forever. I used to ride this when I was like ooh, 16, 17, 18. Used to drive it to school and stuff. So it's been sitting a long time, and. Uh, Can we walk around the front side of this? Okay, let's go this way. This is uh this is some of the woods. Nice big pine trees. It's a nice area. We got nice trees and it's a good piece of property. It's 10 acres, uh 10 acres of land that I own. So I'm gonna think about putting a cabin on it and um just have that all natural outdoors feeling and um be able to relax. Uh, here's an old um, hay rake. We bought this when we first moved to our property. The pull behind the Oliver tractor to clean up all the, um, the branches and stuff back in the day. But um, here it's been sitting here whew, forever, 40 years pro or more, you know? So... Um, Mother Nature will take everything back. Mother Nature give it, and Mother Nature will take it back if you don't watch it. And here's an old pond back here. And uh, we'll start walking back up front. Um, back here in the distance, this used to be um, a horse barn where my sister used to keep her horse. And... Um, we used to take the horse up front to graze in the front yard. And um, it's done fell down and went back to mother nature. And uh, yeah, we want to clean all this stuff up. Here's the back end of this, this other shed. And uh, it's a little bit of work, but we're we're picking away at it. It's getting beat up pretty good. And, um, can you see in here? Yes. Here's a, an old fashioned drill press, super heavy duty. It was probably used in some type of factory to do industrial work. Um, it runs, takes 24 volts, and um, my dad had an elevator business, and we used to drill the counterweights and heavy stuff back in the day, and uh, still this, this, this shed is just full of garbage and junk, 
this be a picker's dream when we first got here. We already had a bunch of people come and buy stuff. So, walk around. Oh, you can't see it on there? Yeah. You can or you can't? I can't. It's kind of dark. It's dark. All right, then we'll keep on walking this way. What we have to add it out, we'll add it out. All right. All right. All right, let's... Um, Here, walk over here. All right, you're recording. All right, here's um, here's an old Ford motor. Somebody's gonna come by and get it. Um, and I'm gonna bring this um old furniture dolly back to Florida with me to recondition and redo. So. Just take some pictures of it. And I want to it's an old furniture doll. There are cast iron wheels and everything. And I'm going to clean it all back up and uh, make it like brand new. When I get it back to Florida, I'm going to power wash it, scrape it down, get it nice and clean and um, redo it. Jonathan, walk this way. You get a good picture of it? Yes. This is how the car looks currently. And this is uh this this uh, motor probably weighs 500 pounds easy. It's a fully V8 four four eight cylinder, so probably 600 pounds sitting on this dolly, and you can turn it easy, no problem, pull it around. So um, we're going to clean it all up, and when, you, when I do a video on this, it's going to look brand new. All right, how are you doing, everybody? Another day out at the property, and uh, we got um, the scrapper brought a big old 40-yard container. Uh, start loading loading this thing up this could hold uh, a lot of stuff you know and um, we walked through the yard yesterday with the scrappers and told them what pretty much all metal and everything scrap out and so uh that's what's going to happen. We just want to get it right back to uh, clear land and maybe get a cabin put on the property. That way I'll have some place to go when I retire. Oh, very good. Um, that's it for now. And he's going to pick up with that big end loader. And... Um, Uh, he got his Mac Daddy trailer and truck to haul some stuff, so this kid knows what he's doing. All right, that's it for now. Here's an old um, Willie's Jeep that's been wrecked and been used for target practice, and uh, this one's getting hauled out of here, too. This is... Um, one more that the scrapper guy's gonna get. The scrapper guy's all excited. He wants to get all this scrap out of here and that's fine with us, you know? So, and then um, here's this side of this. And this stuff's been sitting here for a long, long time. And um, my brothers have passed and it's just time to get rid of all this stuff. And here's, um, here's an old trailer that's going to be out of here, too, for scrap or whatever. And um, got more.